we are taking a bike ride today on our electric bikes and we are at the um, Greenway and it's a beautiful day here on uh, November 21st yes and right before Thanksgiving right before Thanksgiving and we're going to take a bike ride and we're going to show you how we've kind of worked out something to take Riley our dog along so we're hooking up <clears throat> this little uh, milk crate for Riley to ride in. We've done this before at home, but we've never really taken her anywhere. So this will be her first. Well, we've taken her at home, but we yeah. haven't taken her exactly. out on the and Greenway. She does pretty good in this, so we'll see how she does on the Greenway. Right. This river trail it goes for 25 miles or something. Uh, <clears throat> so we're just going to take it down for a ways and then turn around and come back because we're already kind of running out of daylight. What is it, 3 o'clock? Yeah, or 3.15. 3 and it gets dark at 5. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we got here and got set up, um, you know, we're kind of fighting the clock a little, but we're just going to see what we can do today. Hey, my little girl. Are we going to go for a ride? Are we going to go for a ride? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Rye? This is going to be fun. So I've got my helmet cam running here, <laughs> <laughs> and Lori's going to try this little Pocket 2 that we just got. We're going to try that out. So we have two cameras rolling today, and we'll see how that works. This is pretty cool as you lean this way or lean that way. Look how the camera just stays nice and steady on that gimbal. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Power up here. Okay. We were up to 216 miles on these on this bad boy. How much do you have on yours? Let me see. Power it up. 75. <laughs> you got some catching up to do. I do. Riley. Hey, you Riley. got some catching up to do, girl. And here's the mountain to sea trail again. Oh wow, you're right. We're back on the mountain to sea trail. This is part of it. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what a beautiful day. It's starting to get cooler though now. Hey. <laughs> You're trying to pass me up, huh? I am. Hey Riley. Riley, how you liking that, huh? Just looking around, having a good old time. On your left, Riley. Riley, hi. How are you, huh? Daddy's passing us on the left. <laughs> So now we're getting into the curly sidewalks. <laughs> Even curly greenways. One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay. We're on PAS2. She's doing good. Good. Good girl, Riley. She likes riding in that thing. almost overflowing.
How'd you do up the incline? Good. That covered bridge was cool. That was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> so what do we think about these electric XP bikes? We What's like the pros them. and the cons? Well, number one con is that they're very, very heavy. Yep. So they're a challenge getting in the car, especially both of them in the car. We tried to get a container to put them in and we're still trying to figure out they say a 40 or 50 gallon container right so um we're trying to figure that out that they both containers can fit in the back of the car so we got the 50 so. gallon today actually it was so big it wouldn't even fit in the back of our car without putting all the seats down <clears throat> so we're gonna have to take that one back and try the 40 gallon we'll see if that one works yeah, hopefully that but will. when they fold and you put them in the container it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the car this is what other people are saying what we have to do is fold and we have to wrestle with it to get it in the car like an octopus <laughs> which they, isn't too good on my back and they kind of come apart the, yeah. the tires come apart so, so that would be the con what's the what's the pro oh they're just fun to ride and they go up hills easily they do <laughs> yeah. and with the fat tires they're really stable uh-huh and uh you don't really have to worry about like gravel or sand or any kind of uneven ground they work pretty good right yeah and Riley loves to ride it. Yes, she does. <laughs> and um, they do fold. Like I said, it's hard hard to maneuver them, but they do fold because if they didn't fold, there's no way we could get them in our car. Right. So it does really help that they fold. Um, and they've been very reliable uh, and they go a long way on a charge. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not a problem. So we and have a lot of fun. you have the panniers on your, yep. we each on got, your bike. <clears throat> We each got a set of these, but we only put them on mine so far. And they really do hold a lot of stuff. I mean, I've got, I've got the, uh, got my drone in there because we've been taking some aerials. On this side. We have water we got, and my fanny pack in the other side. Yep, so she doesn't have to wear that. We've got water, we've got dog leashes, all kinds of stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah so it's uh, a lot of fun and, uh, really glad we got them and i got a little bell for mine so when you're passing someone it's real nice to not have to yell on right. your left so it's just a little ding of the bell and they know that was a little bit i didn't want to get the bell for me i wanted to get the <laughs> air horn so he's scaring people when he goes by <laughs> that's right drives by. so uh we did make a couple other videos about these bikes so check out our other bit uh, videos about how to use the cruise control the pas um, how to take them off-road and stuff like that. So check out some of our other videos. Um, the only thing we've really changed on them from stock is we did replace these seats, the seats that come with it with the Cloud 9. And the we post. Got the seat posts that have some shock absorber, shock absorber to it for our little tushes. <laughs> um, and we did add this mirror here. And I will put a, I put a link um, in the description of this mirror because we get a lot of comments on where do we get the mirrors and they're really really helping they fit in here really nicely and they're very adjustable and you can fold them in nice and easy so they're very very useful okay let's go Deeper than what it looks. Wow, I can't believe it's flooded like this. I walk into 
Well, I guess this is the end of the road for today. I I'll guess it around. is. Like I said, we haven't had rain. I don't think we've had rain all week. I can't believe the water has not receded. So we'll put on PAS2 and make a beeline for the parking lot. <laughs> we got 3.4 miles. You want to do it? To get back? Yeah. Okay, well we don't have to be in a big rush. That'll be more fun, right Riley? You ready for a, a fast ride back? It'll also be chillier, because I'm already chilly. As soon as the sun starts to go down, it's, uh, and now the greenway is starting to get shaded. Yep. And the sun's getting behind the trees, so. We put on our little lights. Yeah, we put on our lights. So that, uh, you know, the bears won't jump out in front of us. <laughs> we have to worry about the squirrels. They've been running all over. <laughs> Let's okay. do it. All right. Okay, start the music. Go for two. Flying low under the radar Like a night hawk stealth plane you are Hiding out in the shadows Keeping from the light of day Nobody should ever have to live that way Probably only in the 60s, but with riding the bike in the air, it feels really chilly and my hands are cold. What do you but, think, Riley? What'd you think? Are you ready for a nap? <laughs> that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, that was about almost seven miles. Yeah. So I'm not that far, but but it's we would have gone farther if it wasn't for the flood. The flood, and but, then it's starting to get darkish. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please subscribe if you like this. And give it a thumbs up. And subscribe up. if you didn't like it. <laughs> subscribe if you didn't like it. <laughs> and uh, make any comments. If you have any comments about the e-bikes or questions, whatever, uh, yeah. any questions, um, just let us know. And we'll be happy to answer them for you if we can. <laughs>